the software that we use the most on our computers is the web browser. It will help you select the best one to meet your requirements. We'll rank the top 5 browsers you can choose to use in the present. Instead of determined by popularity, we'll count them down based on hours of testing using security, performance, and privacy security. Our countdown begins with number 5 Google Chrome. While it's the world's most popular browser, it's not being the most effective. It's also heavy on resources and is not recommended for low-end equipment. But it is slow to develop. It is being ignored by the main company. The positive side is, if you're a user of many of Google's services, such as Gmail and their Office Suite, and more. And if you're okay with the way they collect data, Chrome does have excellent cross-platform support allowing you to connect your bookmarks and passwords across different devices. Chrome also provides a vast range of extensions that increase the browser's capabilities. Again, they are not limited to their web browser. Chrome extensions are also able to be used with other browsers that are based on the Chromium platform. I'll show you how to get into it. After years of chatting about the issue, Chrome now has a dark mode that can make surfing the web more comfortable for your eyes particularly at night. It's based on the preferences of your operating system. These preferences also automatically connect to Chrome as well as other applications. Many people have inquired about how to create a new theme to Chrome that can change the general look and the wallpaper of the tab page. I'll explain how to do this. First, click the settings icon in the Chrome. Scroll down to the other tools, select extensions in the upper left corner, and click the menu button. Then, on the left side of this panel, click open the Chrome Web Store. Below extensions, select themes, explore the options available. There are many to choose from. When you locate the one you're looking for, click on it and add to Google. A new theme has been added. If you open a brand new tab, you'll see a brand new background image at the top four spots. For those who are concerned about privacy, the most secure web browser. It's free and built on Chrome. This allows you to include extensions through the Chrome Web Store to provide more flexibility. By default, it blocks all ads on all pages, although it's beneficial for users to see pages load quicker and have fewer distractions. However, it can also harm the business model, allowing many websites to pay for themselves. As a compromise, when you enroll in their reward program, you will receive basic attention points often referred to best to view alternative advertisements placed by Brave on the sites you visit and you can also donate a portion tokens to the websites that you would like to help for additional security. Brave also blocks all third-party storage and cookies to prevent websites from being able to track you. If you leave their site, it's hilarious how they utilize BuzzFeed to block content from other websites. Furthermore to this, social media blocking is used to prevent the content of Twitter, and Facebook as well as Google logins. When you open a new private browser, it utilizes to use the Tor network to stop websites from knowing the IP of you. In the moment you open Brave, it'll display the number of trackers and advertisements blocked, as well as the bandwidth and amount of time saved. If you're using the site you're supporting and want ads to be displayed, click on the Brave shield located to the right of the address bar and turn off the slider to turn off. The third option is the Edge browser by Microsoft a product of the Microsoft company. Edge functions include an efficient mode that can lower the use of your laptop's battery. It's a shopping tool that is only made available to the US to help you find an even better price and apply coupons. If there are tools that assist in keeping your content in order, you can also take a screen capture. And there's also a reading mode to remove any distracting elements. Edge has its own extension store specifically designed to work with the browser. If you can't locate what you're looking for, extensions from the Chrome store online can be. On the first page is the standard search bar. Local weather information is located or located in the upper left. You can quickly access Microsoft applications. In addition, you can access a speed dial on the website. Below that, news can be customized to fit your preferences. Unlike Chrome, which does not have a screenshot option, Edge allows you to take screenshots of your screen. Click the icon for web capture located in the upper right area. However, it will only make the screen visible while capturing the entire page. We'll create an auto scroll to capture the entire web. If you're interested in what's being captured, you'll be able to the drawing tool. You can draw it out before saving it. This can be a source of information. On the second place is Firefox by the folks at the non-profit Mozilla Foundation. The Mozilla Foundation's web browser is open source and is the sole web browser that is among the top five 
and it is not built on Chrome. Contrary to the majority of Chromium browsers, Firefox isn't a stalker. It also stops the annoying auto-playing of videos on websites you go to by default. It also comes with an excellent cross-platform reader mode to prevent distractions. As well as a dark mode and a light mode, the browser has a vast store of extensions. In reality, it was Firefox rather than Chrome that made add-on extensions very popular. Screen capture in Firefox is quite easier. Just right-click anywhere on the web page and select to take a screen. Coming to the number by large margin is Vivaldi. This web-based productivity tool for Windows, Linux, Mac iOS and now on Android as well. It was founded with one of the founders of Opera. If you are a fan of Opera, the Valley is certainly a great browser for you check out. It's not just great for privacy with add-on and tracker blocking features built in but it also has several distinct features you won't find elsewhere. Some of these features includes an email client that is built in, the newsfeed reader, customized notes and search engines, cap stacking, dark and light theme and many other features. And since it's built on Chromium, it supports Chrome extensions. If you decide to download and install Vivaldi today, you can customize the browser. What you want to do is pay the price of just $0 per month. There's a search bar and a speed dial that allows you to browse your favorite sites. On the left side panel, you can swiftly access your bookmarks download, history, bookmarks and email feeds, and more. You can also add your favorite site in the site panel too. To add another website, click the plus, type in the title of one of your most loved websites, and then press enter. You can also drag the side by side view panel using the double arrows. Drag it out to launch a different site on the right side to help increase your production efficiency. In the lower bar in the web browser, you'll be able to find the tool for screenshots that lets you choose an area or entire page. Let us know what you think in the comments below.